Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Redbird Replay. This is Scott Kirker along with Colton Kayla. Colton, uh, big game for the Redbirds tonight. The uh, regional championship game almost a year ago to the day that we went over to Washington and beat the Panthers at Washington in triple overtime. What a memorable game that was that we had uh, a year ago tomorrow. Um, that was uh, a thriller for sure we had there last year, and it uh, should be about the same here tonight. Um, it's a rematch from earlier this year. Uh, they beat us by one at their place. I think that was early January. Early, yep. May have been December, but... Um, it wasn't January. Right after the uh, State Farm Classic, it was the Saturday after... Uh, New Year's, or no, the Saturday before New Year's. No, the it Saturday was after. The fourth. Yes. Yep. And uh, we just didn't play very well. Uh, we had a lead late, gave it up. Maynard came back and won. But uh, you know what? This is a, a altogether different Metamora basketball team. It, it is, and that was, you know, when we went over and played there, that was kind of when we were going through our slump. Uh, you know, State Farm Classic is never, you know, a tournament that we play well in. Um, and coming off of that, that was our first game. We were still, you know, trying to figure out who we were as a team. And I think we've really found our identity um, as of right now. We blew a 13-point lead with two minutes to play. Um, so if the Redbirds are up 13 with uh, two minutes to play tonight, I don't think uh, no. they'll blow that one. No, 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 no. Uh, it's a much different team. Things are really picking up, you know, at the right time. And there's a lot of people that doubted us, but there's a lot of people that said Metamore will figure it out right before they'll get hot and make another run. And that's pretty much what Metamore has done. Uh, Coach Greaves did come up for his uh, pregame interview. You know, it's been kind of a good luck charm on games that he doesn't come up. We've been playing pretty well, so that might be a little bit of superstition on his part. But we'll be the visitor team here tonight. We're the third seeded team, Mando number, number two. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, uh, we're about a minute away from the national anthem and the starting lineups. And uh, Colton, this is exciting, isn't it? It is. It's a packed gym here tonight. Uh, pretty well, this whole side uh, that we're on is pretty well filled. And great crowd for Metamore. Great crowd. It's you know it's a close game and you know it's a big game. And you know after the the run we had last year, you know these people they remember that and they think we can do it again. Well, Colton, uh, this is kind of do or die. You either win it or you go home. It, it's a beautiful thing. Today's the first day of March. Uh, <laughs> let the madness begin. Metamore comes out with the same, same starting lineup that we've had about the last month. And they've been playing pretty good basketball, so there's no need to change it now.
Metamore will control the tip. Didn't really get much of a of a tip from either either player, but Joan De Nealon did come away with it. You see, you know, I, I didn't think that the uh, opposing or the, the person jumping was allowed to grab the ball. Well, if somebody if else it, touches it. If he's also outside the circle. Joe Nealon. Oh, Joe Nealon, uh, great pass by Thomas Hall. And Joe Nealon with a nifty little move underneath. Redbirds two, Manuel zero. Awfully early in the game, though. Redbirds are coming out man to man. I figured they'd come out in the zone and they'd try and get Manuel to fall in love with that three. IVC did that the other night. Rolando Brown, no. Peyton Havens with the rebound. And, you know, it, that worked a well for IVC, was letting Manuel fall in love with that three, and that's why Manuel stayed in the game for so long. You mean IVC, is, IVC stayed in the game? Yeah, yes. Um, kick to Gabe Mason, a three is swatted. Metamore will keep possession. Great hustle there from Colin Dietz. Track that one down. They closed down on that one hard. And Colin Dietz, wide and open. And a layup. baseline drive. 4 0 Redbirds. But no, as I was saying, Manuel fell in love with that three on Wednesday night and uh, kind of hurt him because that's all they kept going to. Another three there is no good. Joe Neal with a rebound. That was Quintez Edwards. Just under six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Redbirds up early, 4 0. That was Storm Hagen. He didn't allow Thomas to get a backdoor cut. Oh, good inside pass to Joe. Oh, what a pass. Nice move. Joe Nealon making himself big underneath. Gets the easy bucket. 6-0 Redbirds. Redbirds getting it done inside early as all three baskets have came from a layup. It's what you want to see. That's Coach Cruz's game plan is, you know, really get it inside early. They traveled. They traveled, yeah. Yep, yep. Now, last time these two teams met in the playoff was the sectional uh, game at the Renaissance, Renaissance yes. where Coach Greaves was in run over. Yes, uh, ran over. He was standing out of bounds and still got teed up. Yeah, it was just a, a really bad call by the official. And Tommy Hall, three balls, strong. Joe Nealon with a, a big rebound. rebound. Good defense by Tommy Hall there. So he did that well the other night as he just stands straight up and his height is just, Joe's got one on him. Can't bring that down. Oh, that'll be manual ball. Probably needed to kick that out, although one more move there and Joe's got an easy layup. He was very close to having an easy layup even with three guys on him. Uh, Storm Hanging was able just to get a piece of it and keep hold of it. Boy, it is loud in here, isn't it? It certainly is. Oh, there's an illegal screen, not called. Joe Nealon with another board. Haven, stutter step, floater, no. Out in transition, oh. oh. That's just, Gabe's just in a bad position there. Just got caught underneath. That's tonight's first foul of the contest. 4.23 to go, first quarter. Manual for the and one. And they make it 6-3, cut the lead in half. Now they're coming out in a press. You get to that guy and he's your one man press breaker. Oh. Boy, yeah, Joe underneath. It would have been forced a little bit.
Oh, what a move from Colin Beats. Ah, he can't get it to go. Good rebound, rebound by Gabe. Gabe. Short jumper, Joe Nealon. Good! What a move, though. That was from Dietz there. The spin move, and he was able to get wide open. Joe Nealon already with four rebounds. And six points to go along with that. 8-3 Redbirds. Maurice Bird right by Hall. That's down the other way, and they're going to get a foul. Two shots. On. We've got 14, Rolando Brown. That's his first. Caleb Kaiser up off the Redbird bench early, and he'll come in for Thomas Hall. Good with the first one. Nine five Redbirds. Three fourteen to go. First quarter. Stays nine five. Peyton Havens with a rebound. Maurice Bird, and they're going to get a foul there on Bird. So he misses the shot and then comes down and commits a foul at half court. That's not what you want there no. for Manuel. That's their second team foul. was a little late. It's a, it would have been earlier to Gabe. He would have had a chance at Colin. Can't get it into Joe. Oh. Well, they had backside help, though. Well, I know, but Havens was wide open. Could have saw a three. You know, during the regular season, you see Havens, he'll pull some threes, but it seems like in the last, you know, when it hits postseason, doesn't shoot as much. I tried going to the oop play to Kaiser. Oh, Joe oh. had position inside. Still does. Colin Dietz three ball. No. That's oh, hit the, hit the, and we had position underneath, too. 146 to go. Land or uh, excuse me, uh, Turner Man will come in and he'll replace Joe Neal and give Joe a break. Oh, backdoor cut. Oh, he's oh! wow. Wow. That's the definition of a glass right there. You, yeah. you can't do much more than that. Wow. Oh, man. That first one climbs in, makes it 9-6. Uh, Joe Nealon will come back into the Redbird lineup. Why didn't they let him come in? He had already had the ball. Oh. He'll come in for Gabe Mason. Oh, 
So it's 9-7 Redbirds. 1.33 to go here in this first quarter. Redbirds up by just two. I mean, they reported the foul on the wrong person. And they changed it. One twenty to go, first quarter. Lots of holding going through the lane. Lots of pushing and shoving. Oh, good job by Colin Deeds. 56 seconds. Deets can't get it. Rebound. Oh, attaboy, Joe, attaboy. Jump ball, it'll be Redbird ball. 50 seconds to go. Then we get a foul on Brown, that'll be his second. That's, that's big there for the Redbirds. That gets Marshawn Tolliver in the game for Manuels. He had a good game the other night against IVC. Hit a lot of threes. For one. 20 seconds. Deets at the buzzer, no. At the buzzer again, oh, no. no. Well, the Redbirds will take a two point lead into the second quarter. Take this time now to thank our sponsors. Commerce Bank, Germantown Grill, Mason Funeral Home, Metamore McDonald's, Metamore IGA, Snyder Village, Zobershire Insurance, Goodfield State Bank, City Blue Technologies, and Pavia State Bank. It's a touchdown every time. Germantown Grill, now in our new location. Enjoy Central Illinois' best half-pound burgers, our famous hand-battered tenderloins, oven-seared wings, and our beer-battered catfish. Come join the fun. Relax with friends. Try one of our specialty pizzas. Germantown Grill, gold standard video gaming and the best comfort food on the planet. Open seven days a week in Germantown Hills. It's our place to call home. It's what we mean when we say retirement, worry-free living. No more maintenance, mowing, or snow removal. Everything's taken care of here 24-7, so we can do a little fishing. We love our neighborhood. We have a lot of fun. Snyder Village, a friendly, caring community with Christian values. Snyder Village is my place to call home. Snyder Village, your place to call home. Welcome back to East Peoria. Well, the Redbirds had a chance to extend that lead a little bit, and uh, Dietz came up just a little bit short. He had a couple of jumpers there late, you know, little floaters that looked good. They just weren't able to go. Um, but as long as you have the ball, you know, the end of quarters, uh, that's a good thing to have. It'll be Manuel's ball once we start play again. Metamorgan, they got off to a hot start, 6 nothing, um, But they slowly, you know, their defense kind of tightened up on Metamora as Joe's being face guarded. Uh, but uh, update on the Sterling Rock Falls game. And Sterling's up 15-14 late in the first quarter. As we get started here in this.
three ball. Nope. Gabe Mason with the rebound. Up ahead to Havens. And Manuel's got to play most of this quarter without Pee Wee Brown as he had picked up two fouls in the first quarter. Ooh. Almost traveled. Yeah. Kaiser jumper now, but that's Metamora ball. Yep. This was last touch by Marshawn Tolliver. That's a good shot. Joe's not, Joe's got his head down. He ain't doing anything. Made a good bucket. Oh, there you go. It wasn't a dunk, but it sure was nice. It's points, and that's all you're really looking for. Caleb Kaiser gets a little, a little bit of a scoring drought for the Redbirds over. Redbirds lead 11 to seven, seven minutes to play here in the second. I'll throw that one away. Oh, Havens there you go. It. Two guys on the floor, Nealon and Havens on the floor for the Redbirds. Reverse layup, oh, Dietz missed it. Oh man, mm. that's about the only one he's missed in about a month. <laughs> that's his shot right there is the reverse. Rivers, they've got to they've got to convert on chances like that. You can't allow too many misses. Good hustle there from Caleb uh -oh. Kaiser, but he's out of yep, bounds. Yep, that's good hustle. That's real good hustle, man. Everett almost had another turnover there. It looks like they're in a, a two-three zone now. Back door at the charge. Go there the you way. go. Gabe Mason picks up the charge. Thomas Hall will come in for Caleb Kaiser. Nice job by Kaiser. Real nice job. Foul was charged to Quintez Edwards. Textbook charge there from Gabe Mason. Jumper Havens short. Hall with the rebound. There he, he gets it, it in. in. Tommy gets it to fall. Beautiful That's a nice follow there. Yes, it was. Gets the rebound and the bucket. 13-7 Redbirds. Floater short. That That'll be Redbird be ball. ball. The student section jumping up and down, getting loud. You got to love that. Yep. Big student section here again tonight. Oh, yeah. As they'll only get bigger. Ooh, dangerous pass there from Nealon. Havens drives, thought about the back door to Tommy. And he's oh, that's foul. foul. There you go, Peyton. Fouls on 24, Marion Bird. That's his first, their team fifth. Turner Mann will come into the Redbird lineup. Havens misses the a little, first. A little strong there. Mann will come in for Mason. Peyton will go back to the line for one more. We'd like to see Peyton pick right back up where he left the, off the other night from the free throw line. 10 to 12 in the fourth there you, quarter. There you go, Peyton. 14-7 Redbirds, 5.09 to go, first half. 2-3 zone here for the Redbirds. It's gonna force Manuel to shoot because Rebbers, they've pretty well owned everything inside. They get it to hanging. 
A drive here, jumper, no. From the man with the rebound. Quintez Edwards. They get it to Havens. Oh, a kick ball. But I think it hit called. him right in the knee. Hit it right above the knee. Oh, blow by from Havens, but I think it, uh, Amar, or one of the birds got a piece of it there. Maurice, I think he got a piece of Havens layup. Wee Brown gets it to drop, makes it 14 9. 405 to go. First half, Redbirds up 14 9. Over the shoulder, mm -hmm. but it's turned over. They had backside help. Three ball there. No good. Pretty bad. Havens. Havens. For such a small guy, boy, does he get a lot of rebounds. 3.35 to go. First half, Redbird's up. Uh, that'll send Turner the two. No, that's only their sixth team foul. Who's that foul on? 15. No, 25. Ooh. Three ball, Tommy Hall, no. That was off of, oh, I thought Neyland. Yeah, it got tipped by the guy over here the, that was just, in, just inside the line. Boy, Tommy missed that bad. Yeah. Uh, wasn't a, a good shot, but you know, Tommy, you just gotta keep shooting. They'll start to fall at some point. Oh, they looked at Joe back door, but Dietz was running over there as well. Now they throw in the backcourt and they can waste a little bit more time. Uh, no, 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 no. Forced that one. That's going to get a foul there on Tommy. Bad sequence of events there. 2.55 to go. First Edwards. half. Third Edwards. foul. My right, Reese Bird hits the first. Kaiser will come in for Hall. Bird gets them both. 14 11, Redbirds. Cross court to Nealon. Oh, oh travel. Ooh. Two forty to go, first half. Redbirds up only by three. So they've got their big man, Joshua Ivory, now in the game. That's a three ball there. No man good. With the rebound.
Oh, how is that not a foul? A lot of arm there, but they turn it right back over. And oh, he, you can't do that. Oh no, he didn't have he didn't have control of the ball. He did not have control of the ball. Oh, I didn't think he had. Mm. I'll get Sean Mervis off the bench. You've got to be more. You have to be stronger with the ball. You've also got to be smart. It's, you know, you, you just get the turnover. That's where you got to slow it down and set up your offense and try and get a score there. Sean Mervis comes in for Turner Man. And he connects here, he makes it a one point game. Misses. They're going to get a foul. And that'll send Joe Nealon to the line for a one in bonus. Marshawn Tolliver with a reach. One forty-three to go in the first half. Redbirds clinging to a two-point lead. Got to connect on these. Gabe Mason, he'll come back into the Redbird lineup. He'll come in for Caleb Kaiser. You're gonna press? Uh, I don't know. If he makes both, then yes. And he connects on the first. 15-12 Redbirds. But by the looks of it, I don't think so, because Havens is all the way in the backcourt. Yeah, but he can come up. And nope, they're gonna fall back. 16-12 Redbirds, 140 to go, first half. And another zone here. A triangle and two. Three ball, bird. Air ball. Oh, nothing but air. Brown's got to be careful because he has two. Doesn't want to pick up a third. But if you're Pate Havens, you got to go right after him. He's giving Peyton a lot of room, isn't he? Yeah. Which you have to. That's a sixth turnover. Yeah, 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 yeah. It called Havens out of bounds. Well, he, he was out of bounds. He can't be the first guy to touch it when he comes back in. So it's manual ball, under a minute to go. Redbird's up four. Redbird's have been sloppy tonight with the ball. It's six turnovers already. Ooh. Three ball, Brown, nope. Rebound, Nealon. Nealon, six rebounds in the first half for Joe. Redbirds will hold for one. Coming up on 20 seconds to go here in this first half. 20 seconds. I assume they're gonna try and go for a corner three here to Gabe. Ten seconds. Nope, Haven's jumper. At the buzzer, no good. So the Redbirds will take a 16 to 12 lead into the halftime locker room, Colton. Uh, scoring wise, uh, not a lot of it. <laughs> no, no, not a lot, but at the end, at, there's also, you know, the defensive end for the Redbirds, they're not allowing much points either. That's for sure, it's only a 16 to 12 game. I think half of their points have come from the line. 
We'll be back in just a few minutes with the first half stats in the second half. Welcome back to East Peoria. The Redbirds took that four-point lead, 16 to 12, into the halftime locker room, Colton. Uh, Coach Green's kept him in there for quite a while. He did, and I'm not sure if he's yelling at him or they're just trying to go over a game plan because Manuel clamped down on their defense pretty well there in that second quarter, uh, only allowing seven points. Uh, Redbirds only allowed five points on the Rams in the uh, second quarter. Second quarter. Did you give the stats? This won't take long. We'll go ahead. Yeah, say it won't take long. Only uh, 16 points for the Redbirds and 12 for the Rams. Uh, Peyton Havens has one point free throw. Uh, Tommy Hall had a nice rebound uh, and follow for his bucket. Colin Dietz, he's been cold. He just hasn't been able to get any of his shots to go. Uh, Joe Nealon, he's pretty well the story of the first half. Eight points, eight boards. Uh, so all he needs is a bucket and two boards for a double-double. And then Caleb Kaiser has a two as well. Uh, for the manual Rams, Mar Maurice Bird, he's got four. Um, Quintez Edwards has three. And Amarion Bird has three as well. Um, I'm a little, a little worried that Manuel did not hit much three-point wise in the first half. Yeah, and, they, and is that because we had guys out there with their hands in their face though? That's also, you know, could be a possibility. But one thing you can't have them do is catch fire here, especially in the second half. Right. Redbirds will get the ball to start this second half, leading by four, 16 to 12. And if you're the Redbirds coming out of the locker room, you got to have a bucket here on the first possession. They're going to try and double Havens while oh, they're doubling everyone. And that is Metamora Ball. Got to be careful with those passes. Got to be careful. Got to break there. Peyton did a nice job of getting the ball back for us, but we just have to be careful. Seven turnovers. That's uncharacteristic for the Redbirds, but the Rams, they're gonna try and force pressure here. Kneeling, and there's the eighth turnover. You just can't do that. Just go catch the ball. Well, it was a little bit long of a pass, but he's gotta get it over that height. And just a little bit of dysfunction here to start. Brown does have two fouls for Manuel. So you do have that. Oh, that was wide open, but they turn it right back over. So there was no backdoor cut when he was expecting one. I think had they cut back door, it would have been pretty well wide open. Colin Dietz. Good job. What a finish. pass by Tommy Hall, but Colin Dietz, great drive to the bucket. Just a great drive. What's he have four now? Uh, Five. Five points. That's right. He had the free throw. Acrobatic finish. Oh, Gabe got crossed. And that's a bucket there for Amarion Bird. 18 so 14. Answer. All right, get it in the kneel in. There's a turnover. That's nine. Oh, he traveled. Uh, block. Yep. yep. Had Gabe been able to stay up, I think he would have avoided that, but I didn't really think there was much contact really there because he spun off of him. That's Gabe's second foul. Got to be strong with the ball from here on out. Got to be strong. Hold. Is that on Colin? I think so, yep. That's only his first. 6.08 to go. Third quarter, Redbirds up by four. 14 and six, uh, 18 14. Oh, he, he traveled. traveled. There's their fifth turnover.
Turn her man up off the Redbird bench. Tommy all almost had it stripped. Joe Nealon. Oh, oh he you got to make that. Three ball. Joe Nealon with the rebound. Practically airballed. How is that not a block? How is that not a block? Acrobatic finish there. Makes it 18 16. Minimore will take a timeout. 18 16 Redbirds. 5 18 to go, third quarter. Minimore are very sloppy with the ball right now. comes into the Redbird lineup. He replaces Tommy Hall. Need a bucket. Oh. A lot of arm grabbing there. And that counts. How is that a foul? <laughs> you you got to be stronger with the damn ball. On our end, on our offensive end, we've got to be stronger with the ball. Caleb Kaiser checks in for Joe Nealon. Tied up at 18. And this to take the lead. He misses it. How, how's that not a foul there? It's Dietz gets the rebound. All you ask for is consistency. Manuel's able to get away with a lot. Oh, good foul. job. Good job by Colin Dietz. Twenty-four. Marion Bird, his second. That's their first. 4.33 to go. Third quarter. Oh, Colin. Just can't miss free throws in a tight game. Three ball. And he gets it. That's the first lead for the Rams tonight. The first three ball they've made all night. They're a little rattled right now. That's a foul. He's all over. There's a foul. There it is. Good job, Peyton Havens. 21-20, Manuel. I wouldn't normally beg for one. That should be. No, 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 no. Oh, did that go out on us? I, I don't know. I thought he threw it out of bounds. I thought it was tipped, but he had, he had tried to grab it again. Bird. 3.47 to go, third quarter. Redbirds trail by one, 
Mm. A lot of time here, Colton. We just have to play better defense and take better care of the basketball. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing is we're just not taking care of the basketball. Um, 10 turnovers is uncharacteristic. Uh, we had 10 to end the last game. Um, yeah. More times than not, we end with 10. And that's, you know, a long shot. But they're allowing Manuel to have a lot of contact inside. Oh, he traveled. Wow. Good job by Colin Deep. Really, really good defense by Kaiser. Oh, I get the strip. Travel, how many steps is he allowed to take? Oh my goodness. We're getting that foul on Kaiser. I thought it was on Mason. Got to get a stop right here. Brown, oh, a lot of contact there from Kaiser. Good job by Kaiser. Oh, he got pushed. And Joe Nealon will come back in. He'll replace Kaiser. Joe Nealon with his 10th rebound. A lot going on. There's a foul there. We don't want this to end up like the other night where the refs totally lose control of the game. Because then anything can happen. They tried to step over Havens and Joe put a stop to that right away. 2.51 to go, third quarter. Peyton, you gotta make free throws. We've missed three in a row, that's unacceptable. 2.51 to go in the third quarter. Manuel leads by one, 21-20. And he gets it, he'll tie it up at 21. Trevor's back, still in the 2-3 zone. Shot no good, rebound Havens. Havens gets the rebound, that's a great job. They're not calling anything. They're getting another foul there. That's a great fake by Gabe Mason. That's the third foul on my Reese Bird. Greaves takes his jacket off. This oh, it, it came off last possession. And... What's going on here? We're one for our last five? Yeah. And Gabe gives us the lead back, 22-21, 2.20 to go, third quarter. Brown, jumper, no good. Joe with another rebound. Their last four shots have came from Brown. Havens floater, no, rebound Dietz. Goes back up and he's oh, wow. blocked. Mm. 
<sighs> this is not going well. Foul on Nealon. His first team fifth. Nothing but net on that one. They they shoot free throws a lot better than we do. We can't get into a free throw contest with them. Well, just tonight we haven't shot free throws. Well, I think throughout the whole season, we are probably one of the better free throw shooting teams in the Ooh. area. They get the lead back, 23-22. 20, Rivers just need to clean up a little things. Turnovers, making the bunnies and making free throws. There you go. 24-23 Redbirds, 118 to go, third quarter. Good foul there from Mann, not allowing Brown to make the shot. If you're gonna foul, foul hard. But that's our six. So Manuel is shooting free throws from here on out for the rest of the night. 102 to go, third quarter. Half their free th or half their points have come from the line, haven't they? Uh, close. And he misses it. They've got nine points from the free throw line. No, eight, excuse me. He misses both. Geets gets the rebound. So good foul there from Turner Mann. Now the Redbirds, uh, they can possibly hold for one. Minute left. Oh, Gabe's pushed over. That should be Metamore ball. It, it just amazes me how Gabe got ran over there and nothing was called. Good catch by Gabe. Careful though, because they're going to try and trap. Yep. How's that not a foul? He just hacked him across the arm. That is unreal. Man. 11 seconds to go. Inside, kneeling. Oh, that's a charge. Yep, that's a charge. Charge, at a boy, Peyton Havens. That's four on him, or that's three? three. Big time charge there from Havens. Kaiser will come in for Joe Nealon. Joe Nealon really cleaning up on the board. 11 boards so far. 4.9 here. They're gonna get it to Man. Oh, he traveled. His, I think he did. I think he did. He's getting bodied and being held a little bit. Um, he did travel, but I think there was more contact there that probably led to that travel. And what you can't do is you can't allow them to. They're not even gonna get off a shot. Nope. So the Redbirds will take the one point lead into the fourth quarter, 24-23. Take this time to thank our sponsors, Commerce Bank, Germantown Grill, Mason Funeral Home, Metamore McDonald's, Metamore IGA, Snyder Village, Goodfield State Bank, Zobra Shire Insurance, City Blue Technologies, and Ipavia State Bank. Welcome back to East Peoria. So, Colton, uh, 
just a one point lead. We had a, what, a four point lead at halftime. Yep. Uh, so they made up three, but uh, got to have a big fourth quarter. Got, got to have it. a big fourth quarter. You, you got to finish. We've missed too many layups and free throws. It, it comes down to that. Um, but the Sterling game, they were tied 32 all at half. Yep. But here's here's the thing. Redbirds have led after all three quarters. Yep. So it'll be manual ball to start this fourth quarter. Redbirds hanging to a slim one-point lead. Need to get a stop here. This 2-3 zone has really worked for the Redbirds tonight. Oh, and that gives him the one-point lead. He just kind of chucked that up there. He did, because he was doing a lot of acting trying to get the foul call when he wasn't even touched. Finish Caleb Kaiser with the board. Deets. There the boy. Kaiser and, and uh, Colin Deets. Deets. Big offensive rebound by Caleb Kaiser. Big offensive rebound. Gives the Redbirds the lead back. 26 25. Three ball. Bird. No, uh, got to have that board. Oh, it's sent back by Kaiser. Six thirty-five to go. Redbirds up by just one, and the ball. Backdoor cut, and good. What a play! Good job. Great pass by Peyton Havens. That's a Danny Green special right there. Oh yeah. Three ball. Storm oh, he hanging. banks it in. That's garbage. Ties it up at three at 28. Just pure garbage. Wow. Peyton Havens. And a blow by. Turner Mann with the foul. Joe Nealon will come back into the Redbird lineup. I didn't see what happened there. <laughs> they just kind of ran over Peyton Havens. And that'll be a one and bonus for Manuel. As Havens is talking to Hangin. As Hangin's been a lot, he's doing a lot of extracurricular activities here tonight. First one's up and good, makes it 30-29, Redbirds. And he'll tie it up at 30. 540 to go in the ball game. All knotted up at 30. Metamore will take a timeout. I don't know why they always seem like they have to have the ball. Just take it and rip it from them.
5.23 to go, Colton. All knotted up at 30. You know, it's it's been a close game, but it it really seems like the Redbirds, they've been in control the whole game. It, it does feel like we've had control of the game, but Maino's just hung around. basket from Mr. Nealon. <laughs> Missed it. But that's a double-double for Joe. But he got the basket, so that's big time. Well, we need the free throws. And that'll tie it up. Just under five, four, 450 to go. Gotta be strong, gotta be strong with the ball. Three ball, Joe, no. Oh, Got to get a defensive stop. Would you believe it if I told you that we have not made a three-point basket tonight? Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't remember one. They've only made one, haven't they? Yep. No, they've made two. The banked in. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. How has he left that wide open? And they'll take a two-point lead. Horrible defense. Oh. Jesus Christ. We're not strong enough with the ball. Got to be stronger. 3.31 to go and we trail by two. You know, no one came to help him when he picked up his dribble. And you don't stop your dribble in the corner. I mean, we just, we, we, we play right into their hands. Got to get a stop. You cannot let them get a lead here. Cannot. It's just a one possession game. 34-32 uh, manual, but how many free throws have we missed? Quite a bit. Seven? Seven of, uh, what, what, what are we? Six, so six of. 13. We've made six of 13. We're shooting 44%. Thomas Hall comes back into the Redbird lineup. They're just gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna milk the clock. They're gonna call Thomas with a foul? Apparently, out of reach. And, and that's the wrong guy to foul. What's he about? 
Seven for seven from the line, or six for six, maybe? Six for six, yep. Jeez. We just, we just. Climbs in. That gives him a 36-32 lead with just over three minutes to go. Plenty of time. We got plenty of time, Colton. But we've got to be strong and mentally tough with the ball. Yep. Jeez, that's just not being mentally tough with the ball. That's being lazy. We got to get a bucket here. We get we don't get a bucket here. It, it's it's over. Yeah, it puts you in a bad situation if you don't score here. How did that, how did that, it, it had to bounce off. If Joe throws it back in, did, it didn't go off their guy? No. You've got to be kidding me. Sean Mervis and Landon Ivins into the Redbird lineup. Now they're just going to play keep away. Oh boy. There you go! Had a boy, Peyton. Got to make the free throws. You've got to make the free throws now. Two nineteen to go. Redbirds trail by two. Or six for fourteen. Six for fourteen from the line. One forty five to go. Barely got touched. Ivans. Oh, there's a charge.
one minute to go. And now they go to the double bonus, Col Colton. Double bonus. Because we can't make free throws. Gabe Mason comes back in. Sean Mervis. We, we've got time, Colton. We've got time. Yeah, we do. Uh, you just got to be smart. Play hard. Joe Nealon with another big rebound. That's, that's got to be against them over the yeah. back. It's got to be. And that'll send Colin to the line. Retrail 39-34 with 42 seconds to go. He's got to make both. And Sean Mervis will come back into the Redbird lineup. Thirty-nine, thirty-five. Oh boy, you just can't. That's who you don't want to foul right there is Maurice Bird. He's perfect from the line tonight. How many, how many free throws has he made? Eight of eight. And we're what, seven for 17? Something like that, yep. He's made more free throws than we've made as a team. Oh, 38 seconds, we trail 40-35. Jesus. And they foul, guess who? Maurice Bird. He, he's the best player on the floor. How, how do you lose to these guys? I don't know. Other than the fact that we just 16 turnovers and yep, not making six, free throws will do that. Yep, yep, yep.
Yep, there, and ball game's over. Ball game's over. Twenty seconds. Story of the night. Yep. If you want to advance in the state playoffs in basketball, you've got to be able to make free throws, and we just can't make free throws. So we don't advance. Simple as that. Simple as that. Jesus, can't even make a layup. Can't even make a layup. for the Redbirds in a disappointing way, the loss in the regional championship. Uh, we'll be back later with a uh, chat with Danny Greaves. Welcome back to East Bureau. We're here with head coach Danny Greaves. Uh, coach, uh, it's never easy uh, when a season ends, uh, especially just how things went tonight, but uh, things just did not go our way tonight, especially well, in the fourth quarter. We didn't play well, and we weren't lucky. Sometimes you want to be luckier than good, and sometimes you just want to be good, and we were neither tonight, but I can't fault our effort. Those kids played their guts out. You know, any time you look up and you're in the fourth quarter with a couple minutes left and you're not in one and one against Manuel, you know, as physical as they play, it kind of just ticks you off, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, but you got to get hats off to them. They did a nice job with their game plan. Played hard, made some shots, and hit free throws down the end. I mean, we talk about free throws, defense, and rebound are going to win things. And when you go eight for 18 from the line, and I don't know how many one and ones it was, but it's not good. Uh, you're going to struggle a little bit, especially against a good team. And Manuel's a good team, especially now they're they're playing their best ball of the year. 
a good team and Manuel is, is you know, just, we didn't shoot the ball well tonight. Um, you know, didn't make a single three-pointer, which is very uncharacteristic like from us. We were very tentative. And we turned the ball over to my count of 16 times. It was a bunch. Um, so, you know, when things like that happen, um, more times than not, it's not going to fall in your favor, but the effort was there until the end. Yes, it was. Couldn't be proud of our guys. You know, they, they've, they've done a tremendous job all year long. You know, I, I, I told them there in the locker room, you know, I, I couldn't have been any prouder of them whether we, if we would have won the game because they, they just battled. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of these guys, what they've done all year. And, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to see them go. A great group of seniors we had here this year. Uh, we'll have a young kind of young group next year, young core. Um, but tonight, just things just, again, did not go our way. They did not. Uh, well, that will uh, wrap it up for us here tonight. Um, Coach, thanks for uh, a great season. It was cut a little short, but uh, sometimes that happens. You know, it didn't end the way we wanted, but, you know, and here's what I told our guys. Next season starts tomorrow. You know, you, you juniors, take a look around and make sure you understand this feeling of not being successful. You know, that's going to be a great motivator for our guys to get in the gym and do extra work. And, you know, and I got to give it to those seniors. You know, they, they've done a tremendous job of putting in extra work and, you know, the weight room and extra shots and, you know, just everything they've ever done. So, you know, I, I couldn't be prouder that group of guys are going out. You know, when we got on our roll here at the end, even though we got cut short tonight, uh, what did we go, 12 out of the last 13 games we won or something like that? And, you know, it was because of our senior leadership really stepping up. And, uh, you know, it was nice to get everybody back healthy again. And uh, we just fell short. But I'm, I couldn't be prouder of our guys. Uh, well, that will do it for us here tonight. Um, final score again, Manuel 45, Menomore 36. Uh, we will see you next year for boys basketball on the Redbird Replay. Coach, thank you. Thank you so much.